What's inside a black hole? We have our equations tell us what's in a black hole, but we've never tested this, just so you know. So it tells us that within a black hole, a whole new space time can open up in the future history of this universe. And for, by that reasoning, we in this universe may be the other side of a black hole that lives in somebody else's universe. Black holes are indeed fascinating cosmic phenomena. They're incredibly dense and possess a gravitational pull so strong that even light can't escape. In our Milky Way alone, there could be more than 100 million of these enigmatic entities. At the heart of our galaxy sits a supermassive black hole called Sagittarius A asterisk, about 26,000 light years away from Earth. It's an enormous structure with a mass around 4 million times that of the Sun. Scientists like Neil deGrasse Tyson have played a crucial role in unveiling the mysteries of black holes. When matter falls into a black hole, questions naturally arise about what happens and what one might experience if one were to fall into one. So, where do black holes lead you? Let's explore that. In 2014, foreign scientists reported detecting gravitational waves at the South Pole, only to later retract their findings upon realizing the signals were generated by cosmic dust. Subsequently, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory in the United States and the Virgo Interferometer in Italy succeeded in detecting these waves. These waves are an entirely new way for scientists to study the universe, not just visually, but also through sound. Gravitational waves, first proposed by Albert Einstein in 1915, were considered almost impossible to observe until now because they travel at the speed of light, affecting space and time as they move. The discovery of gravitational waves has the potential to significantly advance our understanding of the cosmos and provide new avenues for studying distant or challenging to reach phenomena. Some experts believe that the scientists behind this project may well be awarded a Nobel Prize for this groundbreaking achievement. Neil deGrasse Tyson describes this discovery as the second wave in our exploration of the cosmos. The first wave was initiated by Galileo's work with light waves, which confirmed the Earth's orbit around the Sun. The second wave, during World War II, revealed the usefulness of radio waves for gaining insights into galaxies and led to the discovery of objects like quasars, now known as black holes. The third wave, in Neil deGrasse Tyson's perspective, could revolve around gravity wave detectors, allowing us to explore not only colliding galaxies, but also the universe's creation itself. The detection of gravitational waves may open doors to understanding what transpired during the birth of our universe. While still largely theoretical, having gravity wave detectors in space orbiting the Earth or the Sun could potentially help us learn more about events leading up to the Big Bang. It's even speculated that there might have been an umbilical cord connecting our universe to a mother universe. As scientists delve deeper into gravitational waves, some ideas that were once confined to science fiction may begin to materialize. Black holes, given their immense power to warp space and time, have often been central to sci-fi narratives. If space is considered a fabric, then it can ripple, as we've observed. The question remains, what occurs when a black hole tears this fabric apart? While we can't empirically answer this question yet, given our limited knowledge of black holes, we now have telescopes capable of observing the precise moment when two black holes collide. This marks a new chapter in our understanding of black holes. The debate over what happens when someone falls into a black hole remains active, with various theories ranging from vanishing without a trace to information leaking out, and even the concept of entering another universe at the heart of a black hole. Mathematically, and without considering physics, radiation quantum effects, and other factors, simulations like those seen in the movie Interstellar with Matthew McConaughey have been conducted to explore what might happen inside a black hole. Some believe that the cosmos resembles a black hole due to its rapid rotation and ring-like shape, making falling through it akin to Alice's journey through the looking glass. However, real-world physics doesn't necessarily align with these ideas. How are black holes born? There are a couple of ways these cosmic enigmas come into existence. 
One route to black holes involves massive stars reaching the end of their lives. Stars more substantial than 8 to 10 times the mass of our sun eventually run out of fuel, and when this happens, they explode and leave behind a highly dense remnant, which is essentially a black hole. Another method of black hole formation is through the direct collapse of gas. This process is believed to create even more massive black holes, with masses ranging from a thousand to even a hundred thousand times that of our sun. Do black holes lose mass? Black holes don't exactly die, but they are thought to slowly evaporate over incredibly long periods. According to quantum theory, virtual particles continually pop in and out of existence. When this occurs, a particle and its antiparticle appear, but they can also recombine and vanish. Black holes grow as they pull in nearby matter due to their immense gravity. Hawking predicted that black holes could also emit energy and slowly shrink. During this process, near a black hole's event horizon, something interesting happens. Instead of the particle-antiparticle pair annihilating each other shortly after appearing, one of them can escape gravity and fall into the black hole while the other escapes into space. The theory suggests that this trickle of escaping particles will lead to the gradual dissipation of the black hole, but we're talking about time frames much longer than the age of the universe. Are wormholes the same as black holes? Inside black holes, it's theorized there might be wormholes, essentially punctures in spacetime, acting as potential portals to other points in space and time, even in different universes. You can think of wormholes as tunnels connecting distinct points in space and time. How common are black holes? With around 100 billion stars in the Milky Way, it's estimated that our galaxy harbors roughly 100 million black holes. About one in a thousand stars is believed to be massive enough to turn into a black hole. Though it's challenging to spot black holes, NASA suggests that the Milky Way might be home to anywhere from 10 million to a billion stellar black holes. The Unicorn Black Hole Candidate earns its name from its location in the Monoceros constellation, known as the Unicorn. What sets it apart is its extremely low mass, which is only about three times that of the Sun. This black hole candidate can be found approximately 1,500 light years away. In 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope collaboration captured the first ever image of a black hole while studying its event horizon, the point beyond which nothing can escape a black hole's grasp. The image represents the abrupt loss of photons, which are particles of light. It's a milestone that has opened up exciting new avenues for black hole research now that we have a visual representation of these cosmic giants. Additionally, as polarized light waves behave differently compared to unpolarized light, the new image provides more detailed insights into the black hole, revealing that its ring is magnetized. Astronomers further expanded our understanding of supermassive black holes at the center of galaxies. They revealed a historic first image of Sagittarius A asterisk, the supermassive black hole at the heart of our galaxy, in May 2022. Black holes consist of three main layers, the singularity, the outer event horizon, and the inner event horizon. The event horizon is the boundary encircling a black hole where light cannot escape. Once something crosses this boundary, it's unable to return, and the gravitational pull remains consistent beyond the event horizon. The singularity, located inside the black hole, is the point where the black hole's mass is concentrated. Supermassive black holes residing in the centers of galaxies can be hidden behind thick dust and gas, which obscures their emissions. Scientists can't observe black holes in the same way they do stars and other celestial objects. Instead, they rely on detecting radiation emitted as matter is drawn into these dense entities. Although the black hole itself remains invisible, it can be indirectly observed through the bright jets of material traveling at nearly the speed of light. These potent jets can be observed from a considerable distance. Occasionally, as matter approaches a black hole, it doesn't get swallowed but is ejected outward after interacting with the event horizon. The Event Horizon Telescope's 2019 image of a black hole in M87 was a result of collaboration between observatories worldwide.
generating an immense amount of data too large for standard internet transfer. After capturing the images, it took two years of research to complete the project. Their next target is likely to be Sagittarius A asterisk, the black hole at the center of our Milky Way galaxy. Sagittarius A asterisk is intriguing because it appears quieter than expected. A 2019 study suggested this might be due to magnetic fields inhibiting its activity. Another study revealed the presence of a cool gas halo surrounding Sagittarius A asterisk, providing valuable insights about this black hole. Additionally, Scientists have begun exploring the possibility of mid-sized or intermediate black holes IMBs. These AMBs could form through a cascade of star collisions in a galaxy center, ultimately leading to the creation of a supermassive black hole. Previously, scientists believed black holes came in just two sizes, small and large. However, in 2014, an intermediate mass black hole was spotted in the arm of a spiral galaxy, and in 2021, another was discovered using an old gamma ray burst. These medium sized black holes had remained elusive, and the recent discoveries were akin to finding a long lost relative who didn't want to be found, according to study co author Tim Roberts from the University of Durham in the United Kingdom. Recent observations of 10 galaxies, five of which were previously unknown to science, indicated X-ray activity typical of black holes with masses ranging from 36,000 to 300 and 16,000 times that of our Sun. These findings came from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, which explores approximately 1 million galaxies, including those where IMBs might exist in dwarf galaxies or very small galaxies. Additionally, Astronomers detected gravitational waves from merging star black holes in 2015 using the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO. This offered further confirmation of the existence of stellar mass black holes larger than 20 solar masses, which were previously unknown. LIGO's observations also provided insights into the spin orientation of black holes as they spiral around each other. Two hypotheses surround the formation of binary black holes. One theory suggests that both black holes in a binary system form at roughly the same time from two stars born together and dying explosively at similar times. LIGO's observations of companion black holes with different spin orientations have provided strong evidence for this theory, contradicting the prediction of the second model which posits that black holes in a stellar cluster migrate to the cluster center and pair up with random spin orientations. So, thanks for watching this video, and stay tuned by subscribing to our channel.